all right guys so creatures of scenario has updated and as you can see right here these are some of the new creatures that have come out in this update and also there is the new alonis remodel which is also really cool and if you guys do not know this is the final week for the christmas event and the christmas event will be ending next friday so uh yeah guys make sure you guys get everything you guys want before everything goes limited and you're gonna have to wait for next year so if you guys don't know the candle is getting another remodel this is gonna be the third remodel it's getting and it is insane i really like the remodel because the one that the candle that we have right now is uh I, I don't i don't really like it it's, it's just too chonky compared to what it used to be it used to be a literally a t-rex that runs on land and it just looked insane but now it's like a mixture of both it's like a crocodile and a t-rex and it it's just insane you guys just have to look at this here's the remodel and then here are some of the animations that they are working on and I, this is just something i'm so hyped about because the kendall i have not played as it in such a long time pretty much ever since the remodel released i never really played as it but uh yeah the candles getting remodeled i hope you guys are hyped too so if we go up here and go to candy canes as you can see let's go to featured the boreal warden and the yosog are both inside of the shop now along with this gift bundle for 600 robux you could unlock all three of these creatures right here the sturby one of the new creatures that i will be showcasing and the Mo mobuishi and the ginger snapper and uh yeah just a bunch of other stuff so yeah you can buy that if you guys would like to and this creature this new one you can actually get it for free without spending robux of course and of course i'll show you guys it how to actually get it and um yeah guys that is pretty much it let's go ahead and get started okay so this right here is the nox skinrin and as you can see it is the brand new creature in this update along with a few others but this is going to be a limited creature for the winter event and to get it you want to go to missions go to snowman siege and you will see it right here in the event missions tab and as you can see snowman siege and you can unlock the nox skinrin click on view missions and there are two things that you're gonna have to do smash 100 snowman which is honestly pretty easy and the thing is that while smashing the snowman you do have a chance to actually get the creature so you probably don't even have to smash 100 snowman and you might actually just get the creature so i mean it just depends on your luck but again it's probably a very rare chance so the next thing you're going to need to do is hatch five players as a frosty creature and basically a frosty creature i highly recommend the sturby or if you guys don't have the sturby you can also find a creature that has the passive effects of frosty right here as you can see frosty and you're going to want to make yourself a female so you're going to need to have the species right so make yourself a female so you can actually place down a nest and then lay eggs and then nest people and if you guys don't know what the smash snowman is let me show you guys very quickly so basically around the map there's just a bunch of snowmen and uh, there is usually a lot of them at the um the winter area or the tundra area so as you can see right there look how many there are there are so many so you can just go down here and if i get the creature right here i'm just gonna be shocked because okay we got a cookie dough and three candy cane but yeah you're just gonna have to smash 100 of these and um yeah guys if i get the creature in this one and i'm deleting my youtube channel okay i didn't get it okay thank you thank god okay there we go and um, yeah basically just you, you gotta fly around and uh just uh just smash these snowmen so for the nesting one again make sure you are a creature that has the passive effect frosty and then be a female and make sure you have the species because if you don't have the species you cannot spawn in as a female and then you want to click on b or if you're on mobile i don't know what button but just click on the nesting button put down a nest and there we go you just gotta wait for your eggs to slowly fill up and then you just invite random people and hope that they join and then that counts as one player and you need to hatch five players as a frosty creature so yeah the things that can speed this up is obviously the eggshell plushie or if you sleep it also makes it way faster as you can see it boosts it by so much as you can see look at that just by sleeping so yeah if you guys have the eggshell plushie that's even better and then you sleep with the eggshell plushie this thing will go extremely fast and um, yeah guys that is pretty much it for this creature right here right here is the gartokus or the gardicus as you can see look at this thing it is a festive t-rex creature that just recently came out and to get it you want to go to shop and go all the way to the artifact shop right here as you can see the gardicus and it is there for 900,000 mushrooms don't you guys just love looking at that yeah it's pretty insane but again it is a artifact creature and you can reduce the price of this creature by finding the secret artifacts 
So the secret artifacts right now, all we really know is that there are shrines around the map and you want to offer food to them. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a little bit. But yeah, getting these artifacts will reduce the price of these mushrooms or reduce the price of the creature. So basically, if you get enough artifacts to bring it down to 10 mushrooms, then you can buy it for 10 mushrooms. So it just takes a little bit of grinding to get this creature. And um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and check out how to actually get it. Okay, so before we actually spawn in and do the shrine missions to get the artifacts, as you can see, this is the Gar Gardicus, the creature that you're going to want to get because look at this thing. It is a festive T-Rex creature and it just looks insane. So here are the stats, 7,000 HP, 600 damage. It has it takes one hour and 25 minutes to grow, 23,000 weight. And as you can see, passive effects right here, frosty, leave block, injury attack, pack healer, breath resistance. And for active ability, it has fortify and of course ambush. And yeah, guys, this creature is just insane. It is huge. It is a T-Rex and it is very festive. It just looks really cool. So let's go ahead and spawn in and see how to actually get the artifacts. Look at this thing, guys. It is absolutely insane. Holy cow. Yeah, it is pretty insane. As you can see, I am fully grown. And I guess we're just going to be doing the mission. I, I don't recommend being this creature or being like a big creature to actually complete uh, the shrine missions actually get the secret artifact but we're just going to be this for now just because you know it is the brand new t-rex creature and i just want to play around as it but before we actually do that let's go ahead and check out the animations so here's the running animation and uh it literally looks like it is running in slow motion um <laughs> guys this is the sprinting animation why why is it why is it so slow what if we do ambush does it make it faster uh it's a it's a little faster but it literally looks like it's running in slow motion okay so let's go ahead and do the z animation go oh look at that classic t-rex roar that looks insane that is really really nice and then let's do the x animation go and then the n animation and then the sitting animation then the sleeping animation. There we go. Those are all the animations, and of course, it does have fortify. So basically, if you have any any in, uh, any like static effects on you, you can just remove it by clicking fortify, and it removes everything. So this creature is extremely slow. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to do, uh, you know, the shrine missions with this creature. But I do know that we got to offer food. And of course, there are some other missions. But right now, what mostly everybody is doing is just doing the offering food to the warden shrines. And there are definitely some more missions, uh, but like nobody has figured out what the other ones are. But um, I, I, I don't think this is a good idea. I, I think this is a really bad idea to do this as this creature because it's just so slow. So um, let's go ahead and... Uh, Go to menu and change. Uh, I, I, I did not think about that. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys where all these shrines are in case you guys don't know. Just a very quick speed run. So the closest one to us right now is going to be the Boreal Warden Shrine. So the Boreal Warden Shrine, we're going to want to fly this way. And it is located somewhere right there on the mountains. And there's like a little hole that you can go into. And the shrine will be in there. So I'm still trying to figure this out myself on what is the best method to actually get these artifacts for this creature. So, um, you know, the only one that I know right now is the shrines and I don't know how much it actually gives, but yeah, if you go into this hole, as you can see, Boreal Warden Shrine, you have to offer us 750 food and yeah, that is a lot. So you actually have to carry the food, bring it here and then, uh, yeah, make sure that you max it out. And now let's go to the next shrine and the next shrine is going to be the Hellion Warden Shrine. I don't know how much food you have to offer since I know that each of the shrines you have to offer a different amount of food. And, uh, okay, so right here, the Hellion Warden Shrine, this is how I like to remember it. So whenever you guys fly over this, right, just come into this right here, see these arches, and then fly into this hole right here, right? And then there's going to be two little wear holes, and you just want to walk into it. And the Hellion Warden Shrine will be right here. Make sure you are a, a small creature. So the Hellion Warden Shrine is only 50. Okay, so the Hellion Warden Shrine, you only have to offer 50. So now we know that. Now let's go ahead and check out the other shrines and see how much we have to offer. So the next one that's closest to us is probably going to be the Verdant Warden. Verdant Warden Shrine should be right here. And how much is that? Uh, 500. Okay, so you have to offer 500. The Novus Warden should be somewhere here, I think. And it should be this, right? I think it's this. Yes, it is this. Okay, so how much do we have to offer? 
1500 guys i don't even know if it, if the higher it is the better rewards you get but uh yeah okay so now we want to dive straight down until we see this crater right here i don't know how i just i just have it memorized guys but go down here right and here we are we are now inside the Ejin warden shrine and let's go ahead and go to the Ejin warden shrine and see how much food we have to offer 1000 okay so the Ejin warden is 1000 okay there we go we are now out and now we go to the volcano which is probably one of the easiest shrines to find and it's the garo warden shrine so let's go ahead and see how much food we have to offer so the garo warden should be over here and how much how much food how much food you have to offer 250 and what i'm really curious about is does it give the same rewards or like if you offer more food you get more rewards because again some of the shrines have more than the others so now let's go ahead and go over here so if we go over here uh we just gotta find that one cave right we gotta find that one cave all right that one cave which is i, I think it's this one if you go in here yep there we go and then here it is okay here's the angelic how much do we okay 150 150 for that and then for the final shrine oh um where did i enter um i think i entered right here okay there we go all right so now let's go ahead and go to the ardor warden shrine and here it is okay so here it is how much is it uh it is 2500 and i again guys I, i'm not too sure if your data actually saves on how much food you offer or like if you have to do it in one session but i'm pretty sure it does save and nobody can actually steal it since uh you know it depends on how much you offer and it's different for everybody and you know what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna take this chunk and bring it all the way to the hellion warden right since you only need 50 for that shrine and i want to see what rewards we actually get okay so we are now at the hellion warden shrine and let's just go ahead and fly in here and go ahead and offer the food and let's see what happens give offering okay so we got a warden stone and five minutes of growth boost okay what is okay so 15 percent more growth boost okay that is pretty cool so we yeah we just got the two percent one and as you can see the price actually dropped and you know what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna fill up the other one i'm gonna fill up here let's just go and fill up the ardor warden one and you know just fill it up since it is the highest one and see what it gives hopefully it gives a lot because 2500 is a lot of food so yeah let's go ahead and do that Okay, so before I offer even more food, I, what I want to do is I'm, I'm actually going to leave the game, right? And I'm going to rejoin and then come back here and actually see if, uh, you know, if this saves really quickly. Okay, so we are back. And also, I am using a private server, so the carcass just keeps on respawning and uh, it's maxed out, you know? So, and the shrine is literally right here. So having private servers could be good. And let's see, it does save. Okay, so it does save, guys. And if you guys have a private server, there's this piece of meat right here and you can just keep offering it. Okay, so we are at 800 right now. And basically what I've been doing is just, I've just been uh, leaving the game once this food right here is out, right? So if I grab it, right, as you can see, I can grab 72. And the amount you can grab depends on how much is actually left on it. All right, guys, here we go. The last time we're gonna have to deliver this. And this should do it right here. And let's see what we get. Please give me something good. We got a Warded Stone and Warden's Curse. And it's a 30 minute cooldown. So I'm I think all the shrines are actually 30 minutes. That is uh that is pretty insane. Alright, let's just uh let's just grab this and then let's go finish up the Ardor Warden Shrine. Alright, let's go ahead and do the Angelic Shrine since uh, it's only 150. Here we go. We just got a Warden Stone and Survival Boost that time. What does Survival Boost actually do? Survival Boost oh more thirst and more hunger all right we're about to do the garo warden shrine it's 250 here we go and there we go we got a mutation chance boost and we also got another warden uh stone thingy so we don't have the um the 30 percent yet you guys know what i've learned basically what i've learned is that private servers are really insane because you can just keep on rejoining and uh yeah you just keep on rejoining and the food thing will always respawn and you can just keep grabbing from it there we go we just got a warden stone and growth boost from the verdant shrine i don't know if all these rewards are random you guys actually want to know something something that i've learned about flying is like you can actually go really fast 
So if you like, okay, so if a flying creature, right? What you want to do is click space, hold hold shift first, right? Click on space and then press F. You get look at this, guys. <laughs> it's like a speed glitch. Like I'm not even holding shift anymore, guys. And look how fast I'm going. Like uh, it's 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 pretty insane. I I don't know if this has always been a thing, but yeah. So if you hold space right now, jump and then glide, right? And then boom, look at that. Look how fast we are while we're gliding. It's basically uh, insane. Uh, wow, this is... Uh... All right, guys, the last bit of food for the Ardor Warden Shrine. There we go. Oh, wait, I lied. We need four more. Okay, four more, four more. Please, please give me the 30% artifact. There we go. 30%? Oh, we got the 30%. We got the 30% from the Ardor Shrine, and I'm dying of thirst because I, I, I didn't drink. I didn't eat this whole time. So let's uh, let's drink some water so if we go to the shop now right if we go to a shop and then we go to artifact look at this yes 30 percent. look how much the price has dropped already so what i'm thinking is that basically all the shrines that you have to deliver a thousand plus food um a thousand plus food will give you the 30 percent artifact but i'm gonna try to confirm that right now so we're actually going to do the Ejin Warden Shrine right now. Okay, wait, I actually just want to test something. So the Uvius is a really good creature for grinding. So if we put a burrow here, right? And then we grab a piece of meat. And then we got to go place a burrow down there. And I feel like this might work. Place a burrow right here. And then let's enter the burrow. Wait, I can't. Okay, there we go. Enter the burrow. Holy cow, what just happened? Um. So <laughs> what the heck? Wait, what just happened? Uh, is this? I swear burrowing was not like this before. Okay, so we're going to go to this one, right? We're going to grab a piece of meat, right? And does does this work? Grab a chunk. Wait, I think it worked. It does, but wait, we can't. Hello? Why, why, why can't we go? Why, why? Hello? Teleport. Teleport. Oh, oh wait, wait. I, I just saw it. I just saw it. There we go. We dug to it. Okay, I don't know why it didn't show up. I had to, like, bite. Now we have it does work burrowing does work guys why did i think of this sooner and why does it keep sending us to the skies all right guys the last piece of food for the Egyptian warden shrine there we go and we got the warden's jewel and a weak glimmer token okay so i think this is what i'm thinking right okay so i put an image on the screen right now that i made so basically the side shows all the shrines and what rewards they actually give and basically anything that you deliver more than a thousand food which is the Eden shrine the nova shrine and the ardor shrine they all give the 30 percent artifact so uh yeah i hope this helps okay so now if we go to shop and go to artifact as you can see the guard tokus is now only 398,000, which is still a lot and i would definitely not buy it for this price right now but i uh, yeah i have reduced the price by like 500,000, and if i keep on grinding the tokens then that would make it a lot cheaper and i could probably bring it down to maybe like a thousand or even like a hundred possibly i don't know if that's even possible but uh yeah guys that is how you lower the guard tokens and get the secret artifacts to actually lower the price of the guard tokens so yeah okay so now let's go ahead and showcase the nox skinrin and first things first we got to check out these stats so as you can see this right here is the nox skinrin and look at this thing it looks pretty insane and let's check out these stats so 4000 hp 310 damage about an hour to grow 6250 weight here are the passive effects it also has frosty and active abilities grab ambush egg stealer and snow shield okay that is really cool and now let's go ahead and actually spawn in as it all right so here's the nox skinrin and look at this thing guys it is absolutely insane and the walking animation look at this it looks like it's like stalking you or something, which is uh, pretty cool. And let's check out the running animation. Here we go. Oh, so when it does its running animation, it doesn't run on all fours anymore. It uh, it basically runs like a human now. There we go. Look at that. And yeah, I really like the walking animation. Just look at this. It's like super stealthy. Very, very stealthy. And let's go ahead and check out the animations. So here is the Z animation right here. See this? oh my gosh it stands up and it swipes its claws at you that is pretty cool that is really really nice let's see that again look at that that 
is really insane and then now let's do the x animation there we go and then the n animation and then the sitting animation and then the sleeping animation look at that and there we go those are all the animations for this creature and that is pretty insane again it does have the snow shield ability and the snow shield is a very good defensive ability because once you use it look at that you in encase yourself inside of a snow dome and uh, basically nobody can hit you and um yeah it's really good for uh you know if you're like in combat and you want to use your snow shield and go to menu while things out there are trying to kill you then you can use the snow shield for that but um yeah just to remove it just click on three again and then it will disappear and yeah that is pretty much it for this creature and this video i hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you all in the next video.